Right, we are now live. Brilliant. Hi guys and welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to my latest video. Uh, can you let me know about the sound? Because I'm using my mic, my um, Blue Yeti mic that I tried to use last week when I had Derek Payne on and it wouldn't work. So let me know about the quality of the sound, the, the, um, how loud it is for example. And that, and I will say, um, have a look. Okay, cool. Right, the topic today we have got is photos, photos. How do we take them and what do we use to do so? Plus any other questions you've got for the chat. So if you've got any questions via the topic, put the question what topic is, for example. And if you're new to the streams, my name's Peter. I'm a part-time eBay reseller. Um, I buy to sell things on eBay. Also, I've got a channel called Peter A's Adventures. I do all sorts of different styles of videos, not just reselling. We have got a live side chat. So do say something in a live side chat. And um, I try and answer as many as, as I can. So we have got Stu Mandry, this is very personal skits, Richard Payne, the legendary BCP, the vampire. Interest popping in, guys. Any questions about the topic? To be fair, I was thinking about topic the other day. How do we take photo, um, them and what do we use to do so with, with the photo element? Because I was reviewing my photo area and what I can do to improve my photos, as we all do. So I've got a bit of a topic and some bits about the topic there. So I'll go through that in a bit. So how do you all, um, how can I put it? Yeah, so how do you all deal with your photos? How do you take your photos? What do you use to take your photos? Not just cameras, do you use the lights? What space do you have? Um, do you use a white background, for example? So let, let me know. Lexus popped in. Hi, Peter. Hi, all. Not in for long. Got a blooming class to teach. Ah, oh, that's a shame, Lex. Have fun. What's that? Go, Mr. Skits. Need to change it, but I can't do it for a while. All oh, right. Okay, Mr. Skits. Yep, yeah, fine. A lot of people do change their name, for example. So I was thinking the other day um about changing my area for my photos because i noticed quite a lot of my photos were crap i did dvg just popping in they were crap quite a lot of my photos to be honest i'm using natural lights as what skits has said using natural lights but um i invested in a white background um and that i've just got a, sh a sheet i'm well, not invested but i've got a sheet a white sheet that is perfect for what i do and where i put it because i'm not sure if it makes a big difference but i know if i'm um searching down a list especially on on, on ebay for example searching down the list on ebay i um quite often if i'm buying something i quite often go oh um i don't go all the way down to the bottom of the list obviously but i go quite far and if i see some pictures that are like oh someone's just done it on a back random background with a lot of rubbish lying around for example um and then i'm like oh i don't buy it but i buy it a if the pictures look really neat, neat they've photographed every single conceivable angle and i know it's no scratches or nothing because nothing worse Again, something where it's scratched a buggery, that sort of thing. And anyway, I then go, okay, fair enough, and check the. I always check the description just in case. Uh, I sometimes message the seller in that sort of respect. So what I'm thinking is people would do that, like for our items in that respect. How we, um, like they look at the item, go, oh, I like that one. That's really professional. Not even professional, but really good. And it's not blurry. It's not cut off. 
Um, there's no bits lying around or whatever. It's on a good background. And that's what's So I'd love to get your opinion on that. How you do your photos? What do you use? Where do you take it? How do you take it, for example? So let me know in the chat. I'll um, go up and have a look. But let me. Um, I did say hi to DBG. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it, 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 it's true. You're a teenager. You're a young adult. You teach yourself. I'm going down a pub. You teach yourself. I mark your um, assignments in about a year time. Goodbye. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, um, Richard Payne says, I have a white background and photo lights. Just use my phone for photos. Yeah, that's what I use, um, Richard Payne. Like phone for photos. I know people use SLR cameras, DSLR, in that sort of respect, or big cameras. Um, or they've got it on a, um, a stand. Depends where they've got their photo area. As we've seen, like Lexus ones, uh, we think we've seen Nick Z, BC, um, a bit of a, quite a lot of people's photo areas in that respect. So um, we see they photograph differently, but it all works for them. Uh, Skip says he uses natural light. If yeah, that's what I tend to do, natural light, I don't have the advantage. I don't have room for the big, what like Bex has done and some of the others. They've got the big lights. What Nick was doing the other day in his vlog, he had the big lights. He changed the bulbs to get more light. Whereas um, offices is quite, um, what's the word? Quite uh, bad for light in that respect. All right, um, Lucy M, just popping in. Hi, Peter. I know in chat, just doing some listings that I've got on in background. Fair enough, Lucy. Appreciate that. Any questions, do let me know. Question what your question is. Hopefully, everyone's well and got some bits and pieces. Hopefully, the bad weather does, doesn't come um, next week. And that <clears throat> you can get out and get some more bits. All right, Chris B, cheers popping in. I find the strap light on my shop does just fine and do camouflage background. I try and not to have stuff in background. Yeah, that's what I am um, don't do. Nothing in the background. I've got it where I've got it. It's the white shit at the bottom. I've got um, where I do it is my door. Because I, I do it like when and where I can, but mainly like a white sheet. It's, it's a big white sheet. And the door's white anyway, that sort of thing. White as it can be. So. Most of my things are quite small, so it's okay. And they fit on it perfectly. Um, at least I hired to Chris B. I use natural light, says Lex. So can only photo for a few hours a day. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I do sometimes do photo in the evening with my flashlight on my phone. But it's it depends on the angles. I don't know if that makes a difference. It kind of depends what makes a difference what people, different people look for in, in, in a photo. If they're, um, for example, going to buy something. What about you guys? What would, um, when you're going down a list on eBay or even Amazon, for example, and you want to buy, I don't know, a laptop or you, you want to buy a torch or something, some random stuff anyway, or a pack of playing cards, whatever, ever, what do you look for? When you're going down the listings, do you only search a certain amount of listings when you've done all your um, bits and pieces like um, where you want it to come from, UK and buy it now and all that jazz? Or do you search via uh, if the picture is really nice and really clear and if you have lots and lots of um, pictures, because you've got 12 pictures on, on um, eBay you can use. I like to see people use as many pictures as they possibly can and photograph ins and outs of say it's like a game a ps1 game and photograph the outside um the front and the back of the actual box got got the manual photograph the disc photographed all the angles on the um case photographed inside the manual because nothing worse than getting a game or something that you come through and go oh that's rattling oh you Son of a da 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 da, it's broken. That, that sort of thing. Um, oh, 
Uh, Lucy M says she uses a white wall background and uh, granite surface for now and a phone camera. Yeah, that's perfect, really, as long as you get the sales. But people would say it's weird because you get people who do random backgrounds and they get a lot of sales, but it's 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 a weird one. But Stu Mandry usually just a phone and natural light, but I do have a studio equipment and an SLR if I need it. A, a roll of lining paper is good for backgrounds. Yep, that's very true. I was looking at that. I know Sue Piles of Shame has one um, lining paper. She has like one with a um, what do you call it? Like, like a curtain pole inside. Sue's piles of shame, a curtain pole going going through in that respect. So I do have an SLR camera. I've got a, a Sony one. But I think, think phone's okay for now and that sort of thing. I know Jay and Callum, when they were doing eBay, um, they were using a DSLR camera for their photos. But as long as you do uh, like up to 12 good photos and they're not blurry and you've got a white background and you've got natural light so, so there's no shining through look like my glass you can see my glasses you've got a little bit of shining you don't any of that on your pictures um yeah i've done that a few times by accident on my older photos um do you also if you're clothes sellers do you have a mannequin a big mannequin as like a short one or a small half one where you hang up and you put like a shirt on or a tie on or some kinky shit. You know what I mean? Um, and obviously photo everything, like the labels on there, you photograph the back, the front, the top, whatever it is, maybe a plush, maybe a game, maybe some clothes, and photograph the inside of it, say what it is, in that sort of respect. Oh, it's just jumped there. I use a white desk, says Chris B. Have just picked up a new white light. Oh, nice one. Now that's always a good thing to do. He uses his iPhone in app for photos. Finish on laptop. Ah, that's what I want to get onto as well. Reminded me there, Chris B. Um, what I used to do myself is I used to use my. Um, I, I still use my phone in that respect, but I then transferred to the PC. And went straight through, but I, I found it. A bit easier now um, to take the photos on my phone first, then do the listing, save the listing uh, as a draft, do all the necessary bits, promotions, all the description, bits and pieces, uh, and all that jazz. Uh, and then upload, uh, save it as drafts, and then go back to it and put the photos while you're on the eBay app. It works fine. And it never used to, about three months ago, it used to crash, but it's worked fine for two months. I find that easier rather than go around and go, oh my God, PC, come on, come on. And then wait for it to load up on the thing. Because sometimes you get it, it crashes and that sort of thing. But what do you do? Do you take your photos on your phone or camera, then upload to PC? Or if you've got them on your phone, do you upload to PC? Or do you just leave them on your phone? And go through, um, and then upload by the eBay app. Because if you're doing that, then you're not really saving your photo. In, in a way, you're not really saving your photos to your computer. And then you can save your photos to um, your um, external hard drive or whatever you do, or um, and that where we save photos to and all your stuff. But it's a, it's a weird one. I used to do that, but not anymore. If, if something sells and I know it's sold for at least three weeks, I then get it off my phone. But I always sell something, leave it on there for about two, three weeks, and then delete it off. Otherwise, if I don't delete, if I do delete it, I then got to retake the photographs because I'm not saved on the PC. But quite a lot of people do save on the PC, and then quite a lot of people don't in that respect. Okay. Um, because obviously Chris B says he uses the app and it depends on laptop. Fair enough. Uh, DBG still here. Should just pack in. Nice one. Can you raffle up some sales to me, DBG? I had any for a while. Um, 
yes, angles make a difference. They sure do. They definitely like going like that. You, you, you. Um, Lucy M buys the cheapest product with a decent photo when buying. Cool, cool. Uh, uh, DBG uses phone, which obviously is broken with an umbrella light. I mean, edit and brighten. Yep, yep. That's the way you can do. If you like a dark area, you can edit your photo on the piece on the eBay app or on the, uh, on the PC and go da, 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 uh, brighten your photo up or crop your photo. I always crop my photos. Sometimes I brighten them or whatever else, but you usually crop them so I get the best quality photo I can. Make sure they see everything because you know what these customers are like. Complete screws and spanners, they're divvy, they're plonkers. Half time, you've got a good description, three or four lines, or ever. Great photos, all that. Tells you about the um, product, all your brand names, all that. And then it still asks you different questions. They buy it and go, Oh, we still have this. Well, it's said in the listing, look at it in that respect. Max up all your photos as well. Yes, definitely skits. I try and max out as much as I can. Not every item does max out because I don't want to take five or six photos of the same area, like on a tie or something like that. But yeah, my nine times out of ten, I do twelve photos. Lucy says she takes five photos usually, but sometimes more depends on the item. Yeah, pretty much. I think doing many as you can is the best. You can't always, but on a different angles, get the label in, get the back of it. If, if it's got a maker's mark or made in China or this that, and the other and wh where it's made, who's made by it. DVD takes eight to 12 photos. Yep, perfectly. It just is a way of showing people when they look at your item, when they do eventually find out of a million, um, if you promoted it and then it goes right near, near the top. So I've got 2% promotions on mine. So it goes near the top. Anyhow and they can look through and go oh that's cool and then they can click onto it and make it a bit bigger and go oh yep yeah, that's what i like because that's what i do now in that respect because I'm, I'm very picky what i buy off ebay what i buy offline very very picky i'm I constantly look at the photos photo 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 if, if they're here and it's got seven eight things near photo i go nope done off if they got a clean background um it's professionally well not even freshly done but it's done like um taking the photograph of the front the back the label inside if everything you need then it's good because you don't want to like buy something and you come come and you think oh damn that's missing I've done that before myself but i'm not sure if it makes a difference like what you do but you've got to try these things and i did say how um if you're buying a feedback what do you look for on ebay do you go down the, how far do you go down the listings? If it's like five or six pages full, or do you just go down up one page and have a look at best ones price wise or the best photos? But some people just do two photos and they think that's sufficient, front and back. Where's the inside of a game? Where's the inside of the battery compartment? Because if I've got a toy, for example, like, um that i can get the factory compartment out like on my um talking elmo that i have listed i went straight to the battery compartment took could got um a small screwdriver took the battery compartment off and then just went duh, 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 took the batteries out and photographed the battery compartment because a lot of people want to know want to see the battery compartment see if it's corrupt corroded that sort of thing so it's always worth doing let me have a look down the chat. Do, 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 do. Bit like ads. Do, 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 do. Nah, I joke. Sometimes uh, we use a black, we use a flag as back shoot. All right, whatever works for you, um, Mr. Skits. Just got to try and remember that. Richard Payne tried to have a min of three photos, even if it's a new item, but only really needs one. Most used items include a lot. Uh, I'll include a lot more photos, just angles. So let me read it. Um, okay, minimum of three photos. Yeah, fair enough. The new item that only been. Oh, yes. And 
How do you go about that? Remind, reminds me, which the pain just reminds me. Uh, um, all right, Mel, just popping in. Mel from Sparrow's End. Um, yeah, if you've got an item like a board game that's sealed or a book bundle that's sealed, how many photos will you take? Because normally, like, if, if I have a, say, for example, I have a Monopoly that I have sealed, a sealed Monopoly that's sealed properly and I've got a list on eBay for like 20, 30 quid or whatever price. What I do, I take two or three photographs of the seal round the sides and the back. I take the front and then the back photograph. I go and grab, like if it's Hasbro or Waddington's or whatever, I take a photograph of that. So that's three, four, five, six, possibly seven. And then what I do is, is I find out, import, look at important points. Like when you're playing a game, you look at the important points and go, oh, I can find this and do this. I always look. I always try if it's if it's on the back they've got instructions i always zoom in a bit and get the instructions in one or two photos if it's a sealed thing obviously if it's not sealed and it's like a monopoly i'll, I'll open it up have a look it was if it's all there to photograph the instructions the bits and, and all that sort of thing i was looking at a monopoly the other day oh, i can't remember it was a nice monopoly but it was missing one of the bits I forget what it was now. Not not Hasbro. I oh, forget so many variations of Monopoly. Hopefully you're um, enjoying this chat. Oh, it skits used as a mannequin, men's and kids one. Yep, that's good. Um, if you're doing clothes or ties or stuff like that, um, it kind of really annoys me when people take blurry photos. You like you're looking down down like when you're doing your research. You look at a listing for your, your listing, your item you've got, and you think, that's a crap photo. You, you, I've done it before where I've gone in my how much is good at item sold on eBay. I've looked at a few good photos to crap photos where they're blurry or they have one or two photos all, and all they have, all they do the work, some brilliant photos. So, and also, how are your setups? Like, where you got your photo area? How you set your lights up, like what Nick does with his lights and his photograph, and when he did his um, photo photographing in his last live, and and um, how do you set yours up? Do you have your two lights there, or do you have new natural light, or what do you, do you have a table or a sheet, or do you have one of those um, photo booth things, square things? They can they can flatten and put up and down or what do you have and how do you do it? Uh, Mel says use my phone for photos. Some aren't that great but still seem to sell. Mm. It's a weird combination. What Mel's saying there, I'm um, saying, is that f um, some weird what sell weird wonderful things sell whether they're great photos or not. But I think. The better the photo are, the more chance of selling. If someone wants an item, for example, uh, Mel, um, she drafts listing in bulk on desktop and adds photos and items specific on phone. Yes, Mel, that's what I've been doing for two months now. So I used to do it the other way. Do the listing, do the photos, all, all in individually. It took long to upload. I, I, I used to upload 10 to 12 lot of photos in bulk and do them over time and, and save them to a hard drive so I don't lose them. But now I don't save them to the hard drive. I leave them on the, on the phone and don't touch them. They're in my SD card section under eBay photos, I think. I've got a whole section for them. I wait for about two, two weeks to delete the photos once it's sold, just in case I get any feedback or it, it returns back to me. I'm like, I've got to relist it. It's a pain in the ass. Sometimes if I'm relisting, I go, I change photos anyway, but that's another bag entirely. Um, but yeah, I, I now draft my listings and then go and um, put my photos from my phone onto a listing. It still works fine. I think, yes, possibly you can, um, with your cropping and that sort of thing, you can crop a bit more, I think a bit tighter and a bit better i think on, on the pc but it's not much in it really and on the pc you obviously you can um 
have your photos you can like put more light on your photos edit slight more but i'm just happy with the phone doing it on there it's less time consuming i get more done more ebay done Luther uses her phone for photos then usb to pc chuck in a folder oh fair enough yeah that's cool yeah i suppose if you've got like your um photos you don't want to lose them but eh, it's really like if you're it doesn't really matter i don't think if you're putting your usb to pc in a upload 20 photos or 20 loads of photos and then still amount of time or put them on like your sd card or a folder on your phone and just leave them because obviously you, you you may accidentally 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 i should say delete your photo on your phone or you could do the same with pc but who knows yeah same mel it's the quickest one that i found as well but right, malcolm mori cheers popping in also a little 14 pound kaching nice one Stu. what was your kaching about right, rattle resales cheers popping i don't think i've seen your name there as well and cheers popping car in i'll get down the chat in a minute so how do you take your photos and what do you use to do so so i.e your camera slr camera dslr for your professional photos your phone mobile phone or a spare phone do you have a white background do you do it on a table with, with white background um with your lights the proper lights or do you have one of those areas where you buy like a fold up um pop-up tent thing with with a light inside um how much space do you have to take them is it, is it tiny space or something big like nick's got um uh, and also do you change um say for, say for example you had an item on there for eight months between five and eight months or a year or so do you go to item and go right i change the description i'll retake the photographs because you might have 500 i say you've got 500 items and 150 are ones they shouldn't be but maybe 150 of them are ones that are um need redoing the photos and the listing for example so do you change your photos and your description for current uh for um, items that sat around for a long time or do you just relist because we're all not to say lazy but we're all like just go oh i'll just relist that was the easiest way to do it contempt and relisting not just going all oh, i'll spend half an hour here half an hour there changing a few listings it's all time consuming but i'd like to get your ideas on that for me yes i've started to take some more photos and um put prices down a bit more promotion on sales on a few items also i've um started to change the description of photos and different angles for example i don't do photos where i put like one photo which has four in a photo it takes, it takes too long but i'll go down and chat and have a look see what you legends are chatting about yeah definitely crispy that's what i'm thinking less time transfer because I, I reckon per week you could spend half an hour transferring uh items to e uh, to your pc and then to ebay which you can spend just going duh, 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 cropping this pc is done well all done cheers popping car in i'm watching but i'm still doing my tax oh no hopefully you get sorted out car in i use the panasonic dmc tz30 for photos it says ruddle resale have a photo box for small items and use an umbrella tripod large for large items ah oh so you must run a resale do yours on like um a good surface where you've got nat where you don't have so much natural light like what nick does he hasn't got much natural light so he uses a, a um like, like big lights but you use one that has a tripod fair enough i've got natural light because i've got like where i do mine a big um window so it comes so after about half four in the winter and half eight in the summer i can't do photos well i can but got to be careful with the actual glare likely what i've got on my glasses a bit of glare <laughs> fair enough Stu. yeah it's that episode of the simpsons where homer tries to do his tax return and 
he 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 misses his tax return. He tries to like go really fast in the car and go straight through, but it bounces out the actual, the actual um parcel trolley. That episode of Simpsons. Yeah, that's quite good. A anyway, um, how do you get rid of your old stock that doesn't sell? As I found a way to do it. Well, if if I've got a load of old stock, I it depends what it is. If it's small stuff that I can bundle, I bundle it up. Bundle it up, put on sale, promotions, that sort of thing. If it's really old stock, then it goes and it's not worth fiddling with. It's some old books or old crap that you don't want. Check to a charity shop. But let us know, Skits, how you, you do yours, for example. If you've got any other um, questions, not about topical, about anything else, then let us know. So also with regards to taking photos and I like, I like to branch off as, as well give it the old branching off on a big tree um how because at the moment like in the next few weeks we're getting some big weather a little bit of snow well a little bit of snow here and there um i think it's going to disrupt a bit here and there so if, if you live like out in sticks out in the country then um, it sort of like relates to photos as well, picking up items to photograph. So how are you going to pick up your items um, in that respect? If you live quite far away, where I am, I can walk to five or six chat shops. Or I'll get a bus if it's bad, but it's not been bad since last uh, March, I think it was, last year, where I did a video um, where I looked outside my bedroom window. That was right. Huh. One of me, whoever ones I used to do. Mm. Anyway, because I think for me, like, if if I know really bad weather's going to come, I can't get out, or I'm really busy and it's like raining heavily or snowing, I always usually try and go around. I spend a few hours going around five or six charity shops, picking up at least three items here and there, if I can, and then all bundles and that. I was looking at a wee bundle in a sprinkled Princess Alice Hospice yesterday. Oh, yesterday, no, um, no, Monday, sorry. It was that when I had that picture when I sat, sat in the pub eating a full English and a pint of um, Coke. Anyway, because the charity shops uh, basically next door, because you've got the vest, um, you've got the Faraday, which used to be the vestry in Epsom, Faraday, which is the pub. Like, like a skaters pub they got gaming stuff in there you can play games they do quizzes all sorts anyway and the charity shops next door and then you've got the guitar shop anyway i went in there because it's a big one for furniture and stuff I, I i saw this wee bundle i was like i'm in iron for 10 minutes where would you get this wee bundle it's, it's like it had a um a, a wee balance board with the bag on and the actual balance board um protector had a couple of bits of um back bits to controllers and one um uh official wee steering wheel and a couple of silicon cases for, for the wee controllers but they're asking 25 quid i'm thinking i'm trying to look up on ebay but i don't think really physically i would have got much back because the balance board plus accessories don't go for mega mounts unless you have the actual games for it for example, which I didn't. So, all right, truth. Cheers, popping in. Um, something that sealed as Lucy. I probably take about three or four ish. Yeah, I always try and take as many. Like I, I, as I say, if it's sealed, two or three of, of the sealed around the side. There may be a little bit of a snipping on the unseal, like new. Um, I take the front and the back. If it's got instructions, I take you do the instructions at the back. I do like the logo on it and what brand it is. So and what, anything else that's popular needs being. It will take ages, says Richard, of a sealed item. Oh, I would take or oh, angle, sorry, of a sealed item, especially if I'm asking a premium, including faults and damage. Yep, same here, um, Richard. I think it's the best I the best to do really. For if people would like, you know, what people are like they come at you and go, oh, I wish it's not sealed. Da -da -da -da. I want my money back. I'll go off. Uh, and, and you can just go and say, this is all the pictures I've done and sh and show them. If you don't do a few, then fair enough. But so Pete, you're going to show 
some of your good and bad listed on eBay? Mm, possibly, if if I get a chance, but I may do. I don't know yet. See what time is and how it goes, Lucy. Skips um, says, sometimes get real. People wearing army clothing, I sell the backdrop. Try to make it pop out. Oh, you mean stand out and that sort of thing, yeah? No, it's cool. Yeah, in that respect. Uh, Richard Payne has a five times three area with lights, doubles as a packing table. Nice, nice. It's always good to do kill two birds with one stone in that respect. <clears throat> if you list from your phone, you're not getting mobile friendly use. Yep, yep. Well, I don't list from a phone. I list on the PC and then save it at draft skits, Mr. Skits. And then what I do is I go and do the photos afterwards. Always doing them on mobile friendly on the PC. Oh, try something new, says uh, the truth. I don't think he popped in my chat before, but cheers popping in. Anyway, instead of white background, I just toss them on a the table and shoot. I've been working better than I'm a nice edited pictures. Oh, that's a bit. It's always good to see what people do and how they get good sales. All right. You might have, what I'm thinking, Truth, you might have the item that people are looking for just in and there. It's a bit like, um, I, I, I don't know. Anything really. If someone, if, if you've done something, for example, job application, job application. If you've done that, someone picks it up straight away. Then that's good. They've seen it. Right place, right time. Skip. Um, the truth. Oh, hopefully that's working. You use a DSLR. Yeah, I've got a DSLR camera, but I mainly vlog for that. But um, Lucy says she usually relists. And lower price by a pound dish might change photos if they were taken at night. Okay, yeah, it always tries to um, see how that works. If you get sales in that respect, what we've got? We've got 16 viewers watching. Two of them from watching. Richard Payne has a few older items. He he needs to retake the photos, but never do, and end up relisting after a 30-day cycle. All right. Yeah, yeah, because most of us just relist. Then you go, oh, that, that'll do. The old, English, the old English saying, that'll do. Whatever, that'll do. <laughs> I have a bunch of um, uh, of those pop-up tents, says Truth. I don't like any of them. No, I was looking at some the other day on Amazon. They looked absolute rubbish. Because they don't think they're big enough, they pop-up tents. They're fiddly to, to um, build. Or to put together and it's just naff anyway, a naff. A naff. Lucy M um, um that wee bounce board is a pain and to post and yeah, they were asking too much. They were indeed. So I left it. Thought uh I can't be bothered. I'd rather go in the pub, Lucy. I'd rather go in the pub. <laughs> uh, a photo studio box is good for photos, but take up space. Oh fair enough. If you can get a good one, I suppose, in that respect. Um, but mm, I've not really used one, but I'm lucky, says Richard Payne. I've got plenty of stock to get through in ways it's better than not be able to source, force me to list stuff I've had for ages, just ignore other ways. Yeah, in that respect, because obviously with bad weather, it's basically coming up in that respect. Um, uh, so, um, Yeah, so if like you've got um, bad weather, you've got lots of stuff to list, then that's always a good way of sourcing. All right, Fritz is popping in. Tap Taphead says he can't stay. He's got a guest. Would that be Sir Richard? Would it be Richard Payne by any chance? Any of those little videos coming soon, Derek? <laughs> that you were saying the other week or the other day? I wonder. <laughs> Yeah, if you got something to store it, Richard, which you have, then it's a good sort of thing. So, but yeah, it's just, yeah, there's probably about 15 things you can do to with the photos in respect to from like really from buying an item to getting on eBay to, to selling it. It's 15 things just 
with your photographs, not buying it, not selling it, not promoting it, or anything like that, just your photos. Uh, cheers, uh, Derek. I hope you're hard at work. Yeah. And photos are very important, says Fritz, for your listings. I use the Photo Fuzz app to get a nice white background. All right. I've never used any apps to, to do that, but I suppose I could look into it. No, I don't see why not. There's a lot of apps to, to kind of do that. That's why like, I've invested in a like a white sheet and I've got white backgrounds anyway. So I've been doing that today. I've done my first one on the, on the sheet. Ah, okay, Richard, fair enough. Okay, cool, cool. What's that? One letter makes it, oh, is that the message he retracted? Cool. So anyone got any questions, do let me know. We have a lot of, oh, also what I like to do throughout the chat, or cut points to the chat, is promote other um, eBayers and, and other um, YouTube, um, people who do YouTube, for example, like Tap Peddler, Skits who does YouTube, um, whoever else is in, uh, Karin, Crispy, Mel from Sparrow's End, that respect. So anyone who's a, um, a YouTuber, go down there and have a look. By their name, three dots, go and have a look, go to channel, and then check what they do. If you like that, then go and subscribe, because I do recommend subscribing. They do some great videos. Everyone's slightly different, which I really like for the videos. They do mainly eBay, but sometimes they do vlogs, other bits and pieces. But if you're into your eBay stuff, then I do recommend going checking all the channels out. Um, yeah, so my last one, what I said already is um, cut last couple of bits. Yeah, and skits is, he does skits, which means little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, for comedy sort of thing. Uh, what do you think people look in photos for when searching for an item? So what do you think people look for when searching for an item? So say, for example, they're searching your... Uh, yes, um, Fritz, it's in the description below. I'll type it in here as well. That's my eBay store name. I don't mind sharing that. Because I, I know you're just going to have a look and that's it. Anyway. Um, oh, we've got one more question after that as well, which I've just re remembered. But what do you think people look for in photos when searching for an item in that sort of respect? So do you think they look for as many photos as possible, clear photos, no blurriness? Um, no um, glare like my glasses, um, white backgrounds, no rubbish in there, no feet, no disgusting toenail clippings or hands in there, or I don't know, you, you can see yourself in the background on a photo. Uh, what else? Um, if it's like six pages down the list, they won't bother looking, so that. And also, what do you, what, what do you look for? when searching for an item so if you're searching for um your listing doing some research or when you're buying what do you look for all right david vinton cheers popping in should do a screen show might get you more sales mm, i'm not really into into that lucy really screen show my store i don't, I don't know i find it not an invasion of privacy that sort of thing but um what's the word um even though i haven't got like mega 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 amounts of listing i find it that um you well, i find that you might get more possible idiots buying and then not doing it because i do youtube as well then they might be like giving it all that so no i don't like to do that sort of thing other people might but i don't mind giving it out so people can have a look in their own spare time aspect Right, last one is, have any of you had any decent sales when you have um, promoted your listings, not through promoting your listing through eBay, but putting it on, because Caroline from the Celtic 
uh, Celtic Traders, she does a post on, I think, a Monday where she says, put your item down um, and you get it sold, that sort of thing. I sometimes do that most mon that most Mondays I do that. Not every week because I don't see it all the time, but sometimes I do and never had any sales through it. A lot of people have um, put it on their watch list on eBay and it's gone up a bit more so we try and get it sold anyone actually done that and, and sold anything so what have you sold via doing that and how much for so i know someone the other week sold something for 129.99 via doing one of caroline's monday um putting it into the celtic traders post no same lucy i don't have a sale either Nice clear pictures tell something about the seller, says Fritz. How serious he slash, he slash she takes his eBay business. Gives potential buyers a good impression, hopefully leading to a nice sale. Correct. That is definitely a one of the good advantages. Like, if you're just going duh, 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 and smashing it on, just hoping for a couple of sales, then, you, you know, you're not going to do well. But if you well thought out, not, not just the usuals, because... Another little thing my brain's just thought about as well is, um, oh, I'm trying to, yeah, my brain's thought about is the fact that, um, oh, just read this one first. Richard Painters, I have seen the post, but not put on one of mine on yet. Oh, fair enough. It might be good to do and see how um, it goes because you, you may get a sale out of it. It's probably over a thousand people on the Celtic Traders. Um, site in that sort of respect I'm trying to remember now what I said because because I I do that start talking and then I forget so it pops up um something what um yeah I can't remember now but yeah it's good to have nice clear pictures um because when you're looking through the actual person's um shop um in that respect I'll just put that down there I've done that one okay that's all I've had to say about that but yeah it always is definitely fritz uh make a good impression and then obviously you may get a ret uh, return buyer someone who buys multiple items if if you do your multiples on like that was here though multiples but mainly most of mine are singles the odd one are doubles but lucy doesn't have promoted listings on ebay just don't want to give eBay extra money i might have to try it one day though yeah I think like between one and two percent is fine. Say for example, you've got an item that you stuck on for 150 pounds, then you may pay 80 odd p or a pound something extra. But I think it's worth it though. Promote your listings in a two months period. I've had at least 10 sales at least. Couldn't quote you on the actual number of it really, but in that respect. Just trying to remember what I was thinking about. Same to do with Fritz is um one, but. Yeah, I don't think it was a. Oh, I don't know. But, but yeah, you definitely, Lucy, try and do that. How long have we got? 10 minutes. Cool, cool, cool. Um, that respect. Yeah, no, not too bad, David. Hope you're well as well, David. Hope you're getting the sales in. Um, let us know if you get another, any sales in this chat. It'd be always good to know. Oh, don't forget tonight, 6 pm on. Stephen Steph's channel, which are the American resellers who go dump dumpster diving, go wee in the dumpsters. They've got Nick and Andrea on their channel. Nick and Andrea, they're doing their gaming video. So I think the girls are winning 3 2. 3 2. So I may pop in some point and watch some of that. Something like that. I've got plenty to watch on YouTube anyway. But yeah, that's good, um, skits. Value your. Um, promote your items for example oh and i see frit oh, that's skit sorry i mean fritz has um said what i also do is combine four photos in one picture using the photo collage app on my iphone then you have the option to show more of your item in 12 pictures all right okay does that actually take any more time up though fritz do let us know 1.1%. Okay. And how do you, um, what's your percentage of uh, resales? What's your percentage of sales 
when you're doing your 1.1% promotions? Because I do 2%, just to be slightly more above others. But I don't know. I don't know, really. It, it, it has worked. At the moment, right, <clears throat> while I was chatting to Lucy, I could chat to her a bit um, on Fortnite again and all that stuff. Anyway, chatting about and um, no aspect. Um, what was going to say? It, yeah. Um, put, um, about um, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's right. About the listings. Basically, what's chatting to basically saying about um, how that after Christmas we have a few good sales. Then it come begin of January, first week or week and a half. So we had some good uh, had some good sales because people were spending their Christmas money like um on buying stuff I had some good sales and some decent profit but now between like second week of january and which um payday will be on mainly on the 31st which mostly is a last day of the month or every thursday of the month i think it is last thursday of the month to get so i used to get paid that day anyway Long story short, a lot of people are poor, they're skint, they won't buy it. So it's always a good time to go and check all your items, if you can, or most of them, or the ones you think need redoing the photos, redoing your pictures, redoing the um, descriptions, using what um, Fritz does. Uh, the collage app and other sort of things. Um, good time to check around on Facebook Marketplace, um, Spot Gumtree, for example, for more bundles. Taking a bunch of photographs, sorting out your photo area. Just, just, just do your general stuff and tidying up. Yes, listing is vital as well, and that. Um, but this is the only period we really get. Because most other months, like people will buy, because because I find people buy two or three or four items of mine in about five days, and then it goes quiet for a while, and then add more, more, more. Because I also find it as well, once you've done your photos and it's been listed for like thirty days or fifteen days or whatever else you do, till cancelled or whatever you do, for example, and that um then because i had like 80 items list um uh ending within an hour of it in uh, an hour to if you know what i mean and it's right close together i wish i hadn't ha i've had that because i probably would have had more sales because there were quite a few people who um had the uh watchers and stuff like that anyway and i relisted then i didn't do it all at once i did like 10 at a time and wait for a few more minutes and that sort of thing but it's just since then i've had nothing much really just been a bit dry as dry as a badger's fanny flipping out it's so dry god blimey mental is just um occasional seller here says david mostly on facebook marketplace no fees yep i, I do spock but yeah, in that sort of respect, Facebook is spot. Yes, you do. I know Derek does quite a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Same with Richard as well. But I, f I find myself, it's hit and miss. But you, you, you still, even on Facebook Marketplace, spot country and that, you, you've you still got to um, check your listings, check your photos and that sort of thing, just to see if people can check your items. <clears throat> I used to use that quite a lot. I know it's a bit rude, but it's, it's as dry as an African continent. Yeah, N not as dry as out there. It's proper pouring it down with rain, like, I think. Yeah, it's still raining. Uh, a couple of minutes and then I'll go off. I might try the app, says Lucy M. Just don't know if I can't can be asked to do uh, turn listings. Might take a while. Possibly will. But it's up to you, if you how much time you want to spend on certain times because everyone in this chat is different. 
I mean, a lot different with, with, with their timekeeping and whatever else they do. I know, <clears throat> did anyone see Carla Jenkins' latest video where she's now, because she was talking about getting a, um, a storage area, like not a locker or unit, but like a little space in an office space. All right, Sam Colbert, cheers for popping in. Appreciated that. Almost uh, finished the chat, but you can watch a live chat replay when this chat is um, finished processing. Anyway, I was watching it earlier, just uh, having a bit of lunch. I thought, oh, I watched the YouTube video, and Carla's popped up. I thought, okay, I watched that because she had an update. I think, oh, cool. It's, it was her and her daughter moving most of her stock from her house to the unit. I know you pay quite a bit per month. If you, if you can get a good deal, that's a good way to do it. But um, it gives you that time to go through your listings, go through your photos, go through your stock, and, and either chuck out the stock you don't need if you haven't got it listed, or retake your photographs because you've got space to do your good photos on a good area, which she's going to do over the next month or so. So I thought that was a really good video to go and have a look at, see what space she's got. Because I say everyone's different with their timekeeping, with their um, life, what they've got to do. Because everyone's different. They may work or family reasons or this, that, and the other. I'll try my new photos for now, I think. Yeah, yeah it's up to you, Lucy. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, get some sales. Hopefully, everyone gets sales. Sometimes we had a short video to the listing to show how nice it actually is working well. For example, vintage VCR, DVD, or Oh, CD player. I've never actually done that, Fritz. I never know how to do that. Something I must learn how to do a like a little video on that. But I'm sure I can go on um, uh, YouTube and have a look how to sh show a little short video. Uh, Skits has paid 550 per calendar month, but have a shop and one bedroom flat storage. That's not bad though, really. If you're making triple turnover, then it's perfectly okay. Still resales. eBay is slow at the moment, but sold a DVD box set today. Nice one. Which one was that? Uh, let us know. Um, thanks for the reminder. I forgot they were on with Steam's Death tonight. Anytime. I, didn't, I just remembered, Richard. I remember the most randomest rubbish ever. Nice couple, Stephen Steph. I like to watch them. Yeah, I do when I can. I missed their last three or four lives, but I will try and watch as much as I can tonight because it's quite funny. Steve's accent, um, British accent, um, south of the river, and because Nick and Andrew don't know what game they're playing tonight. But, but yeah, okay, cool. Hopefully that was interesting. You've learned some stuff from the chat. Any questions, do let me know down below in the comment section when this video is being um, processed and rendered and up on my YouTube channel. Um, do go check out the rest of my channel and my videos, Peter Ray's Adventures. I went to to see Enter Shikari, a metalcore slash electronicore band um, last Saturday uh, at the O2 Academy in Brixton. I'm sorry if anyone's from Brixton here. With Brixton in London, not Brixton anywhere else, but Brixton in London. Um, because it's one of the poorest areas in London, not top ten poorest areas in London. Not saying it's not a safe place, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, I won't get into that. But the the, the venue was okay. It's like a good big old building. The staff weren't that friendly, but the band, two bands that I played before. I didn't really listen too much, but Enchikari was great, brilliant um, band as they ever were. They're doing a few charity gigs. I think they've got a charity gig coming up um, soon. I can't remember. Ch oh, Jason, cheers for I'm just about to go in a sec. So you can watch a chat back when you've got five minutes. I can't remember because they do DJ as well. Um, let me have a quick look. I'm just two seconds, guys. Hang on a sec. Because we're off to the South End C on C Pavilion on Saturday, this Saturday. Yeah. 
they're off to it's a, it's a part of the O2 Brits week. We're playing a very special intimate show on the 13th of February at the Dome Tufnell Park. That's like a 400 standing venue, like up above. I've been there before. But when I saw um, Caliban and a few other bands, and they're also doing Shikari Sound System, which, which is their DJ set, Shikari Sound System, as part of an all day fundraising to support the Grand Appeal. The Bristol Children's Hospice Charity for our friends Uppercut Deluxe um, House of Bands London alongside Slaves, Professor Green and Disclosure. So they're at the House of Bands London um, next month as part of a um, charity for the Bristol Children's Hospice a hospital. So, so they do quite a lot of um, different events in that respect uh, big venues small venues fundraisers their dj sets because rue and the band they they do um because they're quite into um not uh, well, not, not health and safety but w w what's the word um a lot of protection of people and that sort of thing and they do talks on it quite often anyway Right, so I'll just about to go off now. Um, you can watch it on the chat replay. Y uh, yes, Jason, it is. They're on Steam Steph's channel tonight. Do check that out. Cheers, Poppy and Lucy. I'm about to go as well. I uh, saw that. That was a good one. You can check out that. My next video, mm, I don't know. I've got a few to do. I've got a... How much do the items sell for on eBay? So I'll pop, pop out 10 to 12 items of something soon. Hopefully, I'll be, hopefully I can go out tomorrow if the weather's nice and um, charity shopping for a couple of hours just to see if I can get any more items. So if I get any more items to sell, if I picked up two or three different items um, when I went around Monday, but not enough to show on that video. There, oh, also, so I'll show that some point soon next week. If I get some, I think it's cross touch wood, get some decent items. Then I recently realized in Kingston upon Thames, in Kingston upon Thames, um, there is a museum. I've been to Kingston for many, many years. I didn't realize there was a museum. So it's free to go. So in the next week or so, I will get a good day to go in and do a, a little mini vlog of the museum like first world war stuff um stuff from kings upon thames past and that sort of thing because i never knew it was there i was looking up steam railways because i watched iks at steam railway and i was looking up the nearest ones i possibly like to go to one uh, and i came across this museum so i will go for that one and then any other videos i could think of i need to use my um uh car phone holder because i brought one of those couple phone holders that go on the dashboard or the top to to do blogging in that respect so i need to use that well that's awkward things should stay on well i could do but i don't want to clash I've got some bits and pieces to do before nick and andrea are live on this channel uh, David used to live in Streatham, just down the road from Brixton. Remember going to swap me in the early eighties, driving past burnt out cars. Yeah, don't. But yeah, not not. I'm not going and the people live in Brixton who watch my channel. I'm not saying they're not nice people. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. It's just my opinion. But yeah, I won't get into that. You need to get a picture sitting on the phone box in Kingston. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that actually. Yeah, I could do that in the vlog actually, where I go round. Yeah, because it's not far off where the phone boxes are. Yeah, doing one of those things going round, round. Yeah, I could do actually. It gives me an idea. But I've got to find a day to actually go when I get a chance. But it'll be in the next two or three weeks or so. But right, guys, I'm gonna end the stream there. Cheers, for popping in. Do check out my channel and everyone else's channel ka-ching ka-ching richard payne's got ka-ching he's got the fairy dust 
The fairy dust, yes. Where, where's marketing? No, anyway, do check out my videos. Like, share, and subscribe. Smash it and whack it. And notifications bell. Smash it and whack it. And turn notifications on. So you get notifications on my upcoming videos. And once again, thanks everyone for watching you legends. I'll see you at Nick and Andrew's chat. I'll see you on Steph's channel and whoever else. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your week. And see you later. Have fun. Goodbye. See you guys. Have fun.